Okay, this is the centroids part one. You should watch this video and take notes as we go through this. Also, these formulas are found in your formula chart at the back of your notebook. So a centroid is where the center of gravity or the center of mass is. And we use this symbol right here to show where the center of it is. And we could also think about it as a balancing point. For instance, right here, this dumbbell would balance right here at this point because it's even mass and even weight on both sides. If we hold it in the middle, it'll perfectly balance. If we hold it off to one side of where the center is, then it's not going to be in equilibrium, and this end would end up tilting down. We can calculate where an object centroid is using basically some geometry formulas, and we're doing it theoretically, assuming that the material is uniform. We're interested in it because a lot of our building materials use a cross-sectional view. That means if I cut it in half, what would that end look like? For instance, this I-beam here. We're going to be looking at our, this activity as a simplified version with some basic geometry shapes. If you think about this one, you know there's a line of symmetry along the center and so it has to be along the center. Since this side is wider, we'd expect the balancing point to be maybe here. Think about where would you put your finger if you wanted to balance this object on the end of your finger. About there. When we have multiple lines of symmetry, we could fold it to find the exact center. For instance, in the square and the circle. Here we could fold it along the diagonals to find the center, and the circle we could fold it in any two directions to find the center. But we also have some formulas. For rectangles, it's just the base divided by 2 and the height divided by 2. You should write these formulas down because you're going to need them. For a triangle, for a right triangle, it's a third of the way over. So a third of the way over this way, and a third of the way over that way. Always remember that this is measuring from where the right angle is. If this was flipped over, what would be the distance from here over to where the centroid is? Well, that would be two-thirds times the base. For a circle, or for a semicircle, or a half circle, it's four-thirds the distance away from the line of symmetry going this way. For instance, in this example, if the radius is 2, the formula is 4r divided by 3 pi. So it would be 0.84 inches away this way. What about going this way? Well, that's right. It would be 1 inch over because it would be exact. I'm sorry, 2 inches over because it would be exactly the radius because it's exactly centered. And that's the end of part 2.